Now, there are just over seven weeks remaining before Koreans head to the polls for a general election. But there is a huge problem. The electoral map has yet to be set. And the situation is becoming more and more urgent by the day. But the rival parties remain at odds over how to carve up the constituencies. Jim Gill with the details. The ruling Senori party blamed the main opposition, the Minju Party of Korea, on Friday for insisting on passing the constituency bill first, when people's livelihoods should be top priority. It seems the Minju Party of Korea is more focused on the upcoming election than national security and people's livelihoods. They need to get their priorities straight. The ruling party stressed that passing the counterterrorism bill and the bill on improving North Korea's human rights is critical to the safety of the people and urged the opposition party to normalize parliamentary affairs. The presidential chief of staff Lee byung also visited the National Assembly on Friday and urged passage of the terrorism prevention bill. However, the Minju party criticized the ruling party for not being able to distance itself from the presidential office. Linking the key bills to the constituency bill clearly shows that the Senori party is taking its cues by the presidential office of Changwade. Floor leader E accused the ruling party of linking key bills to the constituency bill for political gain and stressed the need to first redraw the now void electoral boundaries. The current electoral map became invalid at the end of last year. Since then, the two parties have tentatively agreed to have 253 district constituencies plus 47 proportional representatives to fill the 300-member legislature. Assembly Speaker Chang Yiwa has set next Tuesday as the deadline to pass the constituency bill. Meanwhile, the ruling Senori party began the screening process for the 822 candidates on Friday who have applied to run on the party ticket in the upcoming general election. The party's nomination committee will examine documents and conduct interviews to weed out candidates that lack qualifications to become lawmakers. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.